ma'am. Hello. So that mask is th not gonna ward this illness away. This don't seem like a very nice way to behave. Shooting up all the buildings in such a lovely town and all. Go! He's the last time we took you. Gonna thank me? I wasn't going to no rob you, mister, but now I am. Out. Did you hear me? Give me your money. <laughs> Stop. This enough? All I got? No. This ain't for me. Out of the way! <laughs> All right, partner. Money. Okay, I'll try now. that again. <laughs> The money, please. Please hurry. hurry. Now. No, no. Please stop. God, no. Don't shoot. Oh. Keep those hands high in the air, mister. Partner. I'm gonna need what you're holding. Whoa! Quicker! Put the gun away, please! Vamos! Okay, take Speed it! Speed it up! Shit! <sighs> okay! Hey, this ain't nothing please. to do with and me. You're dead. You hear me? Please! please. Look at you, Shit. Run. This is it! Listen, I'm gonna need Course. you to put that weapon away, all right? Now be reasonable. <laughs> Come on, maybe learn some damn res Look. As long as you're in here, you follow my rules, or you can... Would you kindly put that thing away? I don't like weapons in my saloon. Ain't no concern of yours. Look here. Get rid of that thing, or get rid of yourself. <laughs> you're getting it, Nick! You're on your way out of this life!
How much you got for me, friend? You want to get hurt? Get your money out. I said hand it over. Quick. Faster. Make this easy. You give me your money. Vamos! Fine. Here, take Does it all. Anyone help me here? Thank you. Okay, I'm just... I'm just going... Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. Same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How do you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? T murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on, Mal. Of course we do. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. What are you 
Some by horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley. Correct. We gotta get there. Come on! You ready? Okay. So, you were saying... And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Whoa. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I ain't sure in mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. 
Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fellow who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fellow with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellow just worked for him. What do you think they're hitting? Well, come on. Let's go follow them. Looking between here and that town. I'll be there. Somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fellow who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fellow with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellow just worked for him. Where do you think they're heading? Well, come on. Let's go follow them. Hey, friend. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. We don't got time for this. One more time, boy. For. Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Make up your mind, John. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths.
can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Bad as it is, we got to do something about these boys. You got it. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on the throw. I've got him. What's it look like? Okay, you're taking fuel. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Down the canyon. Let's ride.
Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it! You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, Joan? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Put him on the Bastard! Bed. We're gonna watch you swing. Oh,